Just very quick questions. Zarina, taking the Swadesh model across the country now, is that your next big goal? I mean, we all hope so, but is that really <laughs> your goal? So, you know, Pranoy, really, the idea is to create a model. And then once you, I mean, I would love to have a Swadesh app where you download it and we give you a step-by-step -step as to how to go about it yourself. If you're a young boy in a village right. and you want to lift your village out of, out of poverty, what are the steps? Of course, I mean, this is a dream. I, I don't want it to just stay in India. I want it to go everywhere. And I think now, and as Harsh was saying, and he's really, he's been really telling us this, that the learning curve that we have had over the last six years, we have made so many mistakes, Pranoy. And those mistakes, we really, we've converted them into learning and we've changed and we've tweaked. And now I think we have something that works. It really works. So I, I would love to see it all over the world. And the other thing I would love to see is these dream villages really blossoming all over the place. And I want one last thought that I want to say, two things, is um, I want to make rural cool. I want that urban-rural divide to dissolve, okay? And I really believe in this promo that we've been playing also in Swarse Bane Des. I want our rural communities to believe that they're in charge of their own destiny. I want them to be happy, and I want them to celebrate, and I want them to help each other. So that's what I really want. Wonderful, wonderful. And I, 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 I think, like Zia Modi says, when we hear both of you, we feel we know it's going to be a success. So, Ronnie, I'm going to ask you a question which you've been asking me repeatedly for the last maybe 25 years. Uh, where, do you, where do you hope to see yourself and the foundation five years from now? Well, firstly, to better anything with the passion which, with which Zarina speaks is always tough. So maybe you should have asked her the last uh, word on it rather than me, but I'm going to try my best. I think... No, we will go back to Zarina and let her have the last word after you. <laughs> or, yeah. uh, please, that'll be absolutely great. We're talking about women empowerment in any case, so I think that's going to be important. But, you know, I think what we've done in the first five years is laid a lot of foundations. To me, actually taking Swadesh Digital is something that is a, a, a really big vision for us. And I know COVID has sort of triggered that, but it is a big vision for us because I think everyone thinks, oh, digital, right. and you, you relate it to urban India, and you always look at that divide again, as Zaina spoke about. So that's one element that I want to see change. I think, yes, we want to take this model nationally. Part of our entrepreneurial zeal was to create an execution foundation on a holistic basis that can actually be shared with a lot of people. Unlike in the corporate world, it is a collaborative effort in the social world. It is not a competitive effort in the social world. So to that extent, for us to change that is important. I think the reverse migration, we've realized, we've realized it a long time back, but today we've realized it where everyone's seen that at railway stations and everywhere else. So there's this almost 80, 90 million people that are neither rural nor urban. And I think now over the next two to three years, what do we need to do to give these people who otherwise feel orphaned on both sides. That's one of the most important things that I think is a mission for us. End of the day, we want right. to change people's destinies. And the only way you can impact people's destinies is if you put money in their pocket, they understand financial inclusion, and they feel you don't need them anymore. Uh, and that's really pretty much what we want to achieve.